back to my channel. I don't know about you guys, but one of my big New Year's resolutions this year was to spend less money on clothes and just be a more conscious consumer. And I think I've done a pretty decent job. I haven't shopped for clothes in like a couple of months maybe. And that might not seem like that long, but for me it's a pretty long time. Something that I've noticed is that trends are moving so fast and I already feel like none of my clothes are keeping up with the latest trends and I need to go and buy more things and it's really frustrating because I want to just like love what I already have and use what I already have but at the same time I really want to be trendy and cool and like get new pieces that people are wearing that I see on Pinterest and Instagram and TikTok and whatever so today we are in my closet it's very messy but that is not the point of today's video I thought it'd be really fun to go through my closet and create some really fun outfits that are like trendy and fun and cool to wear without like buying all of the new pieces. It's also just gonna be a bit of like what I've been wearing lately, kind of outfits and clothes that I've been wearing a lot. So yeah, let's just get started. Okay, but before I start, I will say one more thing. Montreal is very, very, very cold. Like today it is like negative 18 degrees and all of the girls wearing these cute outfits live in California and they would call like an outfit like what I'm wearing right now, like a winter fit. That is a really hard thing with wearing cute outfits in Montreal because every single outfit I wear, there's gonna be this black puffer jacket over it. This is my TNA super puff. I love this coat, it's great, but like, it's not, it's not super fashionable. Sometimes I just feel like a big black puffy marshmallow. So I'm gonna be showing you guys some outfits that are actually warm and good for winter. Yeah, enough talking, let's get on to the video. I figured I'd start by just showing off how I would kind of dress this outfit that I'm wearing right now up and make it a little bit cuter and also how to like winterize it. But I really like this light white puffer for when I'm not walking super far or when it's not super cold out. It's cropped so I kind of try and like crop my jacket to make it look nice. I like the white on white and then I would just throw on like a cute little beanie. Go for some mittens. This is like very cute basic winter outfit. I think I look cute, I think I look nice. This is like what I wear to work, what I wear to the grocery store. Okay, something else I've been doing a ton is like layering basic turtlenecks like this underneath cute little tops. I'm gonna show you a few of those outfits that I'm really enjoying. Okay, if you're also very obsessed with the whole corset trend but don't wanna spend money on a corset, I had this like pretty tank top from Urban Outfitters from this summer and it's not a corset but it kind of has the same like pretty dainty vibe and I just put it underneath the same turtleneck I've been wearing. I wear this like almost every day and obviously like you could rock this if you were living in like Southern California but I put a pair of like fleece warm like heat tech tights on, boots, big huge coat and it would look great. I really love this outfit because it's pretty and it's girly. It goes with like the really nice romantic Bridgerton-esque trends that I've been seeing everywhere, but it's stuff I already have. This is just like an old summer tank top. Like honestly, anything that's like floral, just like any top, put it underneath the turtleneck and you can wear it for the winter months great. Also, in case anyone's concerned, yes, I did suffer a pretty serious finger injury. I juiced it at my job. Special feature of Emily's outfit. You know, we got the work from home. <laughs> we got the pajama shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that maybe this is my most worn outfit of the fall. This little trend of like turtleneck underneath a crew neck hoodie has been kind of everywhere and I'm really, really into it because it adds an extra layer. I'm just wearing like a nice warm turtleneck underneath this like really big Alaska cruise crew neck that I got from Yes Style, and I'm obsessed with this trend. It's like warm and cozy, super, super easy to winterize. Like all it needs is a hat, looks great, gloves, coat, perfect outfit. I think honestly, I prefer really big oversized crew necks like this with any kind of pants that have like a bit of a flare or a boot cut, because it kind of just creates like volume on the top, slimmer on the legs, volume on the bottom, and it's just like a nice shape. Any kind of big sweater with a turtleneck, I'm super warm, super cozy. Love it, it's great for winter and it's super cute and on trend. But then a light like modification of this trend. I love these pants, I just got these. I say I haven't done much shopping, but I bought these pants. I'm so happy about them. They're from Article And, and they're just like brown ribbed flare leggings. And I think this is like a totally awesome way to make this outfit a bit more cozy, a bit more casual. I wish that like you could see my full outfit, my bed is right here. So 
This is like kind of my fave studying fit. Something I've been personally obsessed with this entire season has been black and white or like all black or all white. I just really like how clean it looks, like how simple it looks. I like it with my, my new hair. And then also of course my winter coats are white and black. So it really just looks very nice and put together. But the outfits can get a little bit basic. You don't just want to do like turn like in jeans every single day. So I've been kind of like doing the same thing as before, but just like layering little fun camis and tank tops. This one just has like a little bit of texture. It has like a a butterfly overlay but it just adds like a little fun thing to a very very simple outfit to bring it all together pop on my white puffer looks really nice looks really clean so this next part will just be a series of my favorite um all black outfits that i've been wearing all the time <laughs> of blackish gray wash jeans because it adds a little bit of color interest while still being nice and monochromatic. Something I've also been seeing a decent amount on Pinterest is kind of like motorcycle jackets that are pretty graphic and really cool. Those are expensive. Um, I don't really want to buy one for like one outfit, but I do have this kind of like motorcycle shirt type of thing. And I feel like it gives a really similar kind of like cool girl skater effect, especially when I pair with leather pants these patent leather boots i've had these for like over a year now i'm obsessed with them they're one of like the best purchases i've ever made and they're from nasty gal they were like cheap they make every outfit look really badass and also when you wear the patent leather here i'll just show you leather pants with the patent leather boots just like really elongates the leg legs for days and i'm only five feet six i like how the layered turtleneck looks because you kind of have like layer detail collar piece and then another layer of black so it just adds a little bit more interest okay this is one of my larger frustrations i am obsessed with the printed colorful sweater trend my pinterest has been full of like these really cool graphic interesting sweaters but they're expensive like sweaters are very expensive but i love the trend so i found this at valley village in the men's section just like sitting on the rack i immediately grabbed it and i love it this is perfect it's just that like really nice printed kind of graphic -y vibe that I've been looking for, but it's like the same color as jeans, which is so frustrating because I feel like it doesn't look good with jeans. So I only really wear it with these white jeans, which I do love these white jeans. These are fantastic pants. I love the printed sweater trend. I think it just makes an outfit look so interesting. Like this is a really, really, really basic outfit. I'm wearing pants and a top, but because the sweater is interesting, it just like looks kind of cool. I don't know, I really like it. Okay, I love this purple turtleneck. I've been wearing it. A decent amount and i feel like this color is like unique and so it just kind of jazzes up a typical look i've been trying to figure out ways to wear this sweater maybe like with this turtleneck it would look nice probably with blue jeans but it's almost like artsy grandma vibes but like not in a totally bad way yeah i don't mind this see i'm finding cool new outfits without buying any new clothes okay so it's way too cold to wear a dress like this on its own but i absolutely love dresses so i have tons of dresses in my closet i'm constantly trying to find ways to like winterify them so i'm going to show you a few of my favorite ways because really a dress is three things it's a dress but it's also a skirt and a top if you guys think about that i'll never want to buy skirts again first up jeans i love a dress tucked into jeans i think it creates a cute little top i really have been loving this as a skirt throw a big cozy sweater over it but this one's super cute just like little black boots warm warm winter your tights, little hat, mittens. It's a really easy way of been like wearing all of my favorite fall dresses. Okay, for some reason, everyone decided overnight that they were gonna be absolutely obsessed with chocolate brown. I'm all for it, I think it's a great color, but not everyone can or wants to go out and buy a bunch of new clothes just in a different color. So I've had this dress in my closet for quite some time. It's not like quite the chocolate brown that's on trend, it's a bit more cool toned, but I've been loving wearing this dress I usually wear a turtleneck, but I was getting a bit hot in my room. Like a nice big oversized men's shirt. And you can kind of see the dress poking out, but you're like still kind of warm. The layers are nice. You can unbutton it all the way and just wear it as like a little cardigan. I feel like this is very like art studio, art girl vibes. And I love how like the skirt ruffles and how the men's shirt is like pretty much the exact same length of, length as the dress. This is my favorite with like my big chunky Doc Martens or my snow boots. But although again, I said I wasn't going to be buying things with the pants that i showed earlier came a matching chocolate brown top so this is my other chocolate brown item of clothing 
I'm gonna show you how I've been wearing it. So pardon these jeans, they're very wrinkly, they just came out of the wash. But this top is a really gorgeous, like deep chocolate brown color that's super on trend. It's really, really nice and fitted and it has this very flattering, super wide open neckline that really shows off the collarbones. I love that it's skin tight because it's great, great for layering. Something else I've been really, really into is like cool jeans, like jeans of interest. Like this pair from Princess Polly, they're like a nice checkerboard, really cool graphic print situation. They make an outfit look so much more elevated and cool. Another pair I really love are these jeans from Revice. Yeah, I really love these jeans. They fit so, so good. But they have like a star on the butt. Can you see this? Is this gonna be obvious? Oh, do you see this? There's a star. I really love them. They're also like really nice big flares. And so they look really, really cute with stuff. These flare jeans with this big chunky crew neck. It's so cute. Another one of like my favorite things that I've been doing is I've just been really into wearing outfits that like go together tonally, specifically with browns and tan. This is like from middle school. These are like the middle school cardigans that you wear with like camisoles, but they're kind of coming back. Just threw on like three different complementary shades of brown. And I feel like it looks really nice. It's very, very, very casual, but it's super comfy and just kind of cool looking. Playing around with the colors, but still keeping like the same shapes that you've always been wearing is like a really fun way to kind of like jazz up a look. Um, not that this outfit is very jazzy. This is very like humble librarian vibes. I'll show you one more outfit like this. Here's like a little more girly. Wow, this outfit is actually also very schooly, but I love the different shades of brown. Again, like warm black tights. I don't have like any kind of brown outerwear. Ooh, if you don't know those like nice Levi's corduroy brown tan jackets, that'll look really good with this. I just, I'm gonna wear this like men's shirt again. Nice way to wear a big t-shirt in the winter. I just have that same like purple long sleeve underneath. It's just kind of nice to layer. This also looks really good with a turtleneck. This is just like my little brown set, the pieces both together. Looks great on its own for just chilling around the house, but you can also just like throw something over top of it. Also looks really good. And one of my favorite t-shirts, this shirt is super cool. It's really, really interesting. Um, I just picked up the thrift store and then I just love wearing t-shirts and stuff like this with just really nice baggy jeans. These ones are from Princess Polly, but just like any cool baggy jeans with like a nice oversized, interesting t-shirt. I feel like it's just a really cool girl look. Well, there you have it. That is everything that I've been wearing lately, which looking around, this is like a pretty good chunk of my closet. So I'm actually pretty impressed with my ability to like transition pieces throughout the seasons instead of just buying new clothes every time a new season comes. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd love if you could give it a thumbs up as well as let me know in the comments what kind of videos you'd like to see from me in the future. I'm very open to suggestions, always looking for new ideas. But thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.